What's going on, everybody? It's your host, Dominic Peterson, host of the Duck Zone 503 podcast, where we talk all things Oregon football. If you're a first-time viewer, long-time viewer, welcome into the podcast. Kindly ask that you hit that like and subscribe button down below if you enjoy Oregon football content. Also, telling your friends and family about the podcast really helps me grow this podcast really fast. So tell your friends and family about this Duck Zone 503 podcast. Okay, so I'm sitting down with a special, special guest today. I have 2024 four-star linebacker Braden Platt. He's going to recap his Oregon visit with us. Welcome in. What's up? What's up? Yes, sir. Welcome. Really appreciate you coming on here and spending the time to recap your Oregon visit. We had a whole bunch of Oregon, uh, or excuse me, Oregon targets on campus that the Ducks are looking at for the 2024 class, February 1st, the signing day for 2023 class. So yeah. big time, big time recruits on campus. You're the first recruit to sit down with me on this Ducks on 503 podcast. So really appreciate you uh, taking the time to come, come on in and recap how it went down and what your future holds with the duck coaching staff. So uh, I'm going to let the, the viewers know who you are a little bit. Uh, Braden Platt, 2024 four-star linebacker coming out of Yelm high school out there in Yelm, Washington, standing six foot two, 240 pounds on three sports. Uh, the on three sport consensus ranks him as the number 23 linebacker in the 2024 class, number three player in Washington, number 248th player nationally. So big time, big time player, top 25 in his position, top five in his state, coming in on the podcast to recap his visit. So, Braden, uh, when we first get the recruits here on the podcast, I like to, you know, kind of explore their background a little bit, get to know them personally. Let's just start early on in your life. Where did you grow up at? And, you know, how did that probably shape you into the man you are today? And, you know, and, and how, how did your life kind of, you know, move around early on? Uh, Yeah, so... Growing up, I was born in Tennessee and then moved here when I was three weeks old. And then I've had three older brothers, so they've always just, like, picked on me. And I think that's, like, the reason why I became stronger was just so that they would stop picking on me. <laughs> yeah. 100%, man. Yeah, so having brothers and stuff, did they play sports as well? Uh, Yeah, they all played football, wrestling, and then, yeah. So they did that, and then, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. And I, it's to my understanding that you also do wrestling and you also started doing track, um, you know, being a multi-sport athlete. How do you think those sports, uh, you know, running track, uh, you know, uh, getting physical on the wrestling mat, how do you think that helps you in the game of football? Um, So for wrestling, I think it's really like helps with my physicality and like that aspect of it. And just especially with wrestling being like such like a hard sport, having like that mindset and then with track i i throw so i think a lot of it's just like helps with my explosiveness and that part of it 100 percent, man yeah being a multi-sport athlete always helps with your game uh you know being out there in, in yelm washington growing up there most of your life you know how how is it up there for probably somebody who's never been out there and how do you think it shapes you into the man you are today being out there from yelm um so what I've heard people like talking about Yelm is like it's a little part of the South in Washington. So it's like uh, you take the the parts of the South, like all the country and all those people, and then you put them in Washington. And that's that's kind of how it is. Like we're not super country because we, we are right next to Olympia. But uh, yeah, so it's just a mix of a bunch of different people. 100% man. What, what one word probably best describes you as a person? Oh, I don't even know. That's a good <laughs> one. Yeah, it's always a good question I like to ask. Um, one word. Uh, uh, competitive. I say competitive. Competitive. I like to hear it. Yeah, that's always a big one. Especially you could you could always tell who's really competitive on film, and like if you're down in a game, who's really just trying out there. Good, good. Yeah. I'd love to hear it. Give me three reasons why you maybe like the game of football. Um, ooh, ah, three words is – or three things is, like, um, I like playing, like, linebacker, being able to, like, read everything and, like, just, like, the mind – like, the mind part of the game, like, being able to see, react, and, like, all that part. And then I also, like – I mean, hitting people is, like, a big one. I always like hitting people. 
And then, yeah. Um, what would another one be? Uh, just being out, like, with, like, teammates and brothers that, like, you've worked so hard with. And, like, just seeing everyone happy or, like, everyone, like, together. Oh, yeah, 100%. You know, forming those bonds. That's what I was just about to say. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Uh, you know, so you just went on this Oregon visit, big-time Oregon visit, visiting the Ducks and, and Eugene and, and campus, beautiful campus out there. You know, off the top of your head, just what else, what stood out most to, uh, about Oregon to you? Um, what stood out most was probably this visit was the track facilities because we went and toured those. And then also, like, just the coaches and, like, getting to know, like, the coaches, like, who they actually are. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 100%. So let's talk about that. Yeah. So which coaches did you talk to? Who would you meet out there? And how were the conversations like with those coaches? Um, so most of the time I was there, I was either, or yeah, most of the time I was with the coach, it was either, uh, coach Lupoy, coach Long or coach Lanning. So yeah, those were good. We, uh, yeah, those were good. Oh yeah. So what'd you guys talk about? You know, coach Lupoy, those are big defensive coaches. You're a defensive player. Did you guys get any like, you know, schematics or anything like that? Or, or what were those conversations like? Uh, yeah. So we started like talking about a little bit about football and like how they or kind of got into like how they kind of run their defense and uh yeah like started going into like tackling and all that so it was good it was a lot of learning so it was good okay yeah 100 percent. what'd you kind of think about that anything anything different that kind of stood out uh maybe on some other visits that you've been on about Oregon or um I haven't really taken many other visits at least like as of recently where my like recruitment was like uh good i guess yeah yeah okay nice okay so yeah so you know beautiful campus out there in eugene oregon you know a lot of a lot of money invested in that campus you know how how was the photo shoot for you any unique spots that you posted up at that you could talk about um the photo shoot wise the boxing ring was cool that oh yeah that's cool. always a big one the boxing ring yeah yeah that one was probably the coolest one Hundred percent, yeah. Box rings always always a good one that the recruits like to do. I always like seeing the photo shoots. Some of my favorite things to watch when you guys go on these trips. Uh, so you mentioned you talked to the coaches. You know, did you talk to any uh, you know any players, any Oregon players at all while while you're on the trip? Um, I got to talk to one of the linebackers. Uh, his name is Tags, but like, or... yeah, Harrison Tag. Ta uh, yeah. Tag yeah. Yeah. So I got to talk to him a little bit, and that was cool. Yeah. So what was he explaining to Oregon? I know he he was a commit from the last class, and you know he didn't really play too much this last year. But I know he he's got big time potential to play. Uh, you know, so what was he kind of explaining for you about you know Oregon and 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 the, and the program out here, or as Dan Lane would like to say, the program. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was kind of just he was telling me like, um, since he's been around the coaches longer than I have, like. He was telling me, like, that they're actually like that, like how they come off, like, on first impressions, like, that's actually how they are and that's how they'll coach you. So okay. that was good to hear that they're not, like, different to recruits than they are, like, they're actual players. So, yeah. Nice. Okay, that's 100%. Yeah, always keeping it genuine. That's one thing I always hear about, you know, Dan Lanning and, and the coaching staff is how genuine they always are from – from maybe the walk-on guy that came on on a visit to the five-star that everybody's talking about in the media, right? He always treats them all the same. So, yeah, it's always a good thing from, from the staff that I like to hear. So I got to ask, man, uh, you know, with Oregon, you know, you taking a visit, you haven't taken many visits, and Oregon being one of your first schools that you visited, seems like there's a lot of interest there. Does this trip to Oregon maybe put them at the top of your list of schools? Um, Yeah, they're definitely at the top with, like, some of the other schools, but, yeah. They're definitely since they're close, it's easier to make visits to them. Uh, but yeah, they're definitely on the top of the list. Hundred percent, I love to hear it, man. And I, I, are you planning on coming back for some more visits for the Ducks? Um, as of right now, I don't have anything like lined up, but I'll probably yeah. Okay, hundred percent. Uh, are are is, is it, um? Do you have any other visits to any other schools coming up here in the next couple of weeks or so? Um, well, this weekend I'm going up to UW. Oh, come then... on, man. No, I'm just playing. I'm just, playing. <laughs> I'm just messing around. <laughs> cool. Yeah, UW, that's always great. And that's hometown school for you. UW, yeah. Yeah. you're under DeBoer and stuff like that. 
So mm-hmm. that is that is that all uh, for the next couple of weeks? You got U Dub and that's it. Uh yeah, that's all that I have like planned out right now, because I'm hoping to take some more visits, but like nothing planned yet. Hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. Just let me know if you get any more visits planned. Would love to hear about that. So last question I have for you here, I was looking at your on three recruiting uh, profile and they have this uh, famous on three recruiting prediction machine uh, that they like to do. And it currently looks like they favor Oregon, Oklahoma and Washington and your recruitment. Uh, Spend a few minutes just to explain what you like about each school. Let's go ahead. You already kind of explained Oregon already. Let's go ahead and start with Oklahoma. Uh, Oklahoma, they're just like, uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Like they're a really good program. They sent a lot of a lot of a lot of people to the league, and that's like my main my main goal. My main mission is to go to the NFL. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hundred percent. Oklahoma being that blue blood school. Yeah, they sent a lot of guys to the NFL. And then you just said you're taking a visit to the school, Washington. What What do you really like about Washington? What the Huskies are doing out there? Uh yeah. So after their first year with the new head coach, they did really good going ten and two. So yeah, I was impressed by the team. And then uh yeah, their hometown team. So it's like yeah. Hundred percent. Did you grow up watching the the Huskies and being a Husky fan or how was that? I I grew up in Washington, but I wasn't really like I think I I was kind of like I didn't want to be a bandwagon because everyone else like Go dogs, go dogs. And I didn't want to be a bandwagon, so I never really picked a team. Oh, okay. Okay. Sounds good. 100%. Yeah. At least you're honest about it. Okay. Well, Re- Braden, I really appreciate the time for you coming on uh, here. This has been 2023 four star linebacker Braden Platt. Uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Braden. Yeah. Braden Platt. D- uh, recapping his Oregon visit. Sorry, dude. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm butchering this uh, ending here. 2020, 2024. Four-star linebacker Braden Platt recapping his Oregon visits last weekend. So really appreciate you coming on. Do you want to uh, shout out any of your social media so Oregon fans can go follow you on there? Uh, yeah, my Instagram is Braden Platt underscore two, and then Twitter is Braden Platt two. There you go, Duck fans. So go follow him. Go get him to a mill. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So really appreciate you. We'll be watching your recruitment. We'll be watching it, and uh, hopefully we can get you on campus again. All right, really appreciate you. Can I get a go ducks before you go? (laughs) Yes, sir. Go ducks. Go ducks. Go ducks. ducks. All right, duck fans. Kindly ask that again that you hit that like and subscribe button if you made it to the end of the video here. And also tell your friends and family about the podcast. Really appreciate everybody that tunes in. I'll see everybody in the next podcast. Go ducks.